All right, okay. welcome to the podcast of the community. Today we got Gashan and Samit, and the tub is not with us. He's only on Patreon. I I had I had, I was thinking of different <laughs> bathroom bathroom for access like would it be fixtures for each of us? So it was yeah. like it was like Gershon the shower head, Samit the toilet, <laughs> I'm the bidet, and then such in the drain, and then Rod's the tub. <laughs> yeah. I would have said such so- is the plunger. Because all he does is <laughs> all he does is dig up shit. Such in the the human plunger. The volunteer. Suchin got accused of being a conservative pretty hard last week. When uh, was a comment? I might did I miss yeah, it? Yeah, in the comments, it, like, somebody's like, that... "Sorry, sorry, go ahead." Go ahead. No, go yeah, ahead. somebody was like, "Somebody was like, never go." Fu-. Such a went full conservative, never go full conservative. <laughs> These guys yeah. fucking voted down the climate change as an issue. Isn't that unbelievable? To, to, that's, to, to, that's wild, to, dude. To acknowledge climate yeah. change is real. Yo, it's yeah. it's fucked because I don't think I think I don't think a tool is a bad as bad as the party is. He's pretty bad. Oh, he's a fucking idiot. He's pretty bad. No, no, yeah, he is. But I mean, like his. Idiot. That means, but he's it's like in his name. It's in his name, dude. <laughs> yeah. Aaron? You know, the thing, Aaron? What, what he, what he does recognize is that uh, the party needs to be more progressive. Uh, does by he that know? I mean, he like, says shit that no, says, like, no, 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 not, not like, no, no, no. I'm not saying they need to fundamentally be more progressive. I'm saying to get more voters, they need to be more progressive. That's what they think, uh, and they're probably right, uh, but. Uh, dude, that vote, 54, 54% of their delegates voted against the climate change thing. You know how easy it'd be for Republicans and conservatives to never lose? Just don't be socially conservative. No, That's but it. the thing is, but don't a be lot hateful. of their base don't is... Be hateful. Don't be hateful. But a lot of their base That's is. That's the problem. But the thing is, that what they need to do is, like in Canada at least, is like, yo, if they just say, we'll cut taxes, but like gay people can fuck, and um, like fucking, you know trans rights they'll win they'll fucking win if they were like progressive like uh, progressive conservatives exist right there's so many people in my life who are economically physically conservative yeah but they are progressive like you know jasper being one of them but are uh, when it comes to socially they're incredibly progressive live and let live yeah that could got- be party I found a real interesting thing about what that conservative conservatism, as we know, it is not really conservatism, that it's actually authoritarianism, but because the authority is derived from your success, which is measured by your net worth. So if you're, if, you all on, luck. So if you sit on the biggest pile, you have the most authority. So conservatives actually hate democracy and everything but name the idea that individual people should control their own lives scares the hell out of them. They want a world where the rich control things because they are the only ones that have proven themselves. In our current world, democracy should look like crowdsourcing. There isn't even the need for representatives anymore. This isn't the 1700s where we are mostly uneducated masses connected together by horse and buggy. Do you think any conservative could stand the idea that Canada could be run by Canadians without having to have the richest represent us? Of course not. Conservatives don't want democracy. They want tyranny. They want the richest and most powerful to control things because that is freedom to them. The freedom to have money and to do whatever the fuck you want with it, regardless of the impacts on other people or how other how miserable others others' lives are because of it. I think I read that in a comment already. I'm like, yo, that's fucking pretty seemingly spot on. From the problem is, yeah, the problem is uh, we associate success with net worth and. What needs to happen is the finance minister should be have an economic should have a PhD in economics. The yeah. environmental minister should have a PhD in environmental science. Like their whole life should be dedicated to just that one thing. Would the that be? That, yeah. Wait, you know, like that what a real Pence, huh? who I don't know what the fuck he did as a um, as a regular person, but the fact <laughs> that he's the minister of innovation is like, what is his credentials? <laughs> his I'm club is not even innovative. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what <clears throat> job he gets post Rogers on the board, dude. What are you talking right? about? It'll be a telecom. These, if it's a yeah, telecom all these job, guys, yeah, they end up as like consultants, right? Like consultants. Bro, he fucking and, didn't do much for the people with the CRTC. Well, and... Like these consultants, what do they do? They just use their government connections to help companies and they get paid. Like Stockwell right? Day was a, he had to resign, but he was a consultant on a big law firm. 
Mm. He just had to resign recently because I think he said something like white privilege doesn't exist or some shit like that. Oh, God. And uh, <laughs> that's what they do, right? That's what they all do. But the thing is, the, the we live in two extremes, right? We live in the extreme where we're like, oh, we want the most successful business person running the country, which is fucked up because people aren't people aren't numbers, right? Yeah, so the they, country's they, not a business. Yeah, the country's not a business. But we then also people vote for all oh, the everyday Joe, but the everyday Joe should be running the country either. That guy's a fucking moron. So the, other day, the everyday Joe probably can't run a business. So <laughs> exactly, like. <laughs> Like the reason George Bush won is because everyone thought you could sit and have a beer with him. Yeah, yeah. But it's because with him, it's because he doesn't have a single word in his vocabulary that's more than three syllables. And at the end of the day, he's a very lovable human being, and that worked. Even now, yeah. regardless, it, it of what let him it let him start some wars. Definitely. Yeah, but <laughs> that's a crazy thing. Even despite that, he's still a media darling because. Like, you know, I was watching his, um, what do you call it? His eulogy for his dad. Yeah. Yeah. It was fucking incredible. Yo. Okay. But I'll say this. He wasn't a media darling when he was in office. No, he was but he fucking was hated. No. He became a media darling more so in the last four years. Was he hated or practice. mocked? No, no, no. I think hated and mocked. Yeah. I, I think, think he mocked. I think he was no, mocked people... by com comedians. Yeah. But I think yeah. the overall mainstream media supported a lot of crap that he wanted to push through like with Iraq war. And, well, 9-11, the way he handled, the way he handled was, the way he handled 9 was pretty st- like going on the ground, being there the next day. He won, he won probably his second election because of the way yeah, he handled it. But, but then when Hurricane Katrina happened, the guy fucking left the country. Yeah. Well, not left the country, but he didn't even show up. Yeah. Well, so like, those are lives, also your people. Yeah, black lives yeah. and white lives is different, man. Come on. Yeah, totally. I know. Yeah. Mm. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think that. Like, I think this romanticization, romanticization. I don't know. Anyways, I, I think that his image has drastically changed in the last four years. But realistically, you got to think about it this way. Like, if this guy is so much better than Trump, if this guy was so much like, you know, more of like a, a man's man kind of guy, like that, you can get along with and have a beer and stuff. Why didn't this guy sing, say a single word against Trump during his entire term? Bush didn't, didn't do shit. Bush didn't say shit. He was just no, quiet. D- he didn't he? Time. I thought I I read a couple things. I don't think things. so, man. He, did, Nothing... he, he for sure didn't do anything to support him. That's for sure. Like uh, they tried to get him to uh, come. No, but my thing is, we uh, left wing is also guilty of romanticization, right? Like we romanticize Barack Obama all the time. Hundred percent. People do it with Reagan. Reagan. They do it with anyone. Yeah. It's it's one oh, of those. JFK. Yeah. We romanticize. Everyone romanticizes their side of things, but like, you know, if you really dig deep into Barack. Um, it look like questionable things, man. You're telling me yeah. up until 2012, you thought gay marriage was low whack? Like, dude, you're around 50 years old. Yo, uh, yeah, that's also, I'm not trying to make excuses for him, but their voter base is like 20 to 30 years behind ours. Like, they're I, so far behind socially that you kind of got to play to the base a little bit. It's kind of like what Garun was saying on the pod. It's like when he would go on the ground and meet people. They're not very progressive. They're mostly like center, maybe center left, but like center. So if the base is not ready for- But we have to also give the guys, them right, we also have to give the conservatives the same benefit of doubt then, right? No, but the conservatives actively lessen the base. Like they just make the base more and more away from reality. And that's like all they've been doing every single time. They fucking cut education. They don't raise the minimum wage. They. I, I just think Obama got. A, I just think Obama got a really big free pass. Um, and whenever someone's critical about Obama, whether left yeah. or right, he, first off, he gets in his pant, uh, his uh, underwear in a, in a knot. He's someone who can't take criticism. Like that's okay. a fact. Obama, no, he's a little bitch when it comes to criticism. Never and second thought. is uh, the media does is the way they have romanticized George Bush. They also romanticize him. Yeah. Right? But I, even more so, I think the other thing what makes Bush also look better is because when Trump is so bad that the yeah. whatever was before seems infinitely better. So I think they're getting sort of the benefit of the doubt on that. I also, think Obama is the great the great black hype. Also, Bush got rid of like AIDS. Like he was a big <laughs> one of the big reasons in Africa where AIDS is like you know not as big as issue it used to be. It's because he loved put a lot of money into Africa. They should have like um, a site where like President Kill Count where they do a you know net gain. 
negative keep track of all he did to help save these people and then yeah, we, yeah, yeah. you know killed four million in iraq or whatever it is yeah i finally watched that movie official secrets a little bit older have you seen it sure. Karen knightley and it's a true story based on this one whistleblower um <clears throat> in england when they were building the case to go to iraq and the u.s government um had sent i guess an email to different intelligence organizations and I, and that they were aligned with. And in England, there was like this, whatever, I forget what department she was in. Uh, she got, saw this email that it said something, how they were trying to essentially blackmail. Remember the U S blackmailed the smaller countries to vote for the war, like these little, little dinky ones. I don't know where, like when yeah, you look like, at the coalition, yeah, there were, there were like New Zealand and Australia went apparently. Yeah. yeah. And there was like some, like the Congo or something yeah. like random, but like no ma- I don't think any major country supported it. Uh, England, Tony Blair fucked up. Well, Tony Blair was the only one, really. Yeah, like he France, fucked up his legacy, dude. Yeah, he he. So th- it's all Good about love. this. It's all about this case where this girl then leaked this email saying the U.S. is trying to blackmail these countries, and she thought she needed to do that because she was trying to prevent the war. Like she thought, like it's putting British soldiers at risk, and the case was actually pretty doable. Like yo, I, I was really tuned to the news. I never knew this story, and it's I think it's worth watching just for like. You know, whatever like a little whistleblower story but the fact that it was pretty important what this person tried doing like totally sacrificed their own existence dude i read i read a book with the, uh, it was about what happened in the white house the day 9 11 happened and when uh, george bush got back to the white house he kept on saying how can we link this to iraq like he was actively looking for ways yeah they were like this but yo joe biden the president right now so supported that the, war yeah so yeah. But, but he at least says like he fucked up but that's another thing too like okay yeah um, Dude, why are you saying that though? Is it because of media pressure? Is, yeah, yeah, or is it like a genuine, a genuine? Um, and it doesn't turnaround. seem like it's fucking one month in, he's dropping bombs on motherfuckers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but the bomb really- dropping, I think. Okay, well, I th- also, yeah. And he didn't. Maybe, and, maybe it was a necessary bomb drop. Like I don't well, know. Well, the thing with Congress is Congress is really pissed off because uh, you're supposed to talk to Congress when you're. Um, dropping bombs on people where there's not an immediate threat and a lot of congress members on both sides said that this was an immediate threat and this guy basically used a i forgot the axe name there's a really good article on vox on it uh-huh. to sort of bypass the congress and they're okay. like this is the whole point this is like this is what we were trying to fucking avoid is motherfuckers like just going over our head and just dropping bombs on motherfuckers yeah yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. and joe biden probably is down with the military industrial complex uh, yeah, he definitely is. Was. Yeah, he, he definitely. Is. Yeah, and he yeah. fell down the stairs like a fucking idiot forty-five times. Did you Did see he that? Fell up the stairs? He fell up the stairs. Up the stairs yeah. three times. Yeah, it's and like these it's like the teams where he's getting crossed over. He's getting crossed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Though there's the one where uh, shit, somebody takes a shot or something. It, oh, there's one where ten uh, Trump is playing golf. He swings. And the ball fucking hits Joe Biden. Oh. Joe Biden falls three <laughs> times. Yo, how do you? Okay, you fall once, you fall twice. I'm pretty yeah. sure it's three times. No, I think no, it's, it's the embarrassment of the first one, and then you just make every clumsy decision just, after that. Yeah, yeah. But then yeah. you slow hey, yo, down. Slow the fuck down, yeah. dude. I think he's trying to. You have Alzheimer's, four. man. He was, he was already pretty slow. Up he there. forgot he was walking upstairs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he forgot mid step. <laughs> like, where am I going? Oh my yo, god. Yo, uh, it's like the. It's like the mayor, uh, the fucking Chief Wiggum line. It's like dig up, stupid. Dig up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. This That's guy fucking falls up. It's hilarious. Yeah. Yo, it's like, uh, it's like those are always funny. Like how they decided that would mean like what? Like, for example, I don't know how to explain it, but like, oh, it's all downhill from here, or oh, it's all uphill. Both of those are bad. What would be downhill? Technically, seems like hey, that's I'd rather be going downhill, and uphill is going to be a battle. Or the other one, hey, you uh, you down to go out, or are you up to go out? It's the same. Are you up for? Or how about when you say I'm going down to the cottage, or I'm going up to the cottage? But oftentimes, I've seen people use it for north and south. Like I'm going down, <laughs> to the, I'm going down to Toronto, right? Yeah. For me, that is going south, right? I think yeah, that comes from I'm upper ready. upper and lower yeah. historically, because when you're going up river. You're actually going south, I think. But people use it both ways for some yeah, reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I think, yeah, I think they just say whatever. English is English is pretty stupid. It's not a. Good it is language. absolutely shit, man. A lot of yeah, a lot of rules that don't mean anything. A lot of misspellings. Like it's, it's funny how it no surprise when somebody. 
So we Sorry? have so many words. We have so many different words for like, um, for like running. Um, it's paaj ke ja, ya door ke ja. Door ke ja. And those are two very different words for running. Is there any difference between the meaning? I don't know. Paaj ke door ke. I don't know. But you've heard both, right? Yeah, yeah. Those both are. Not ke, not ke, not ke. Oh my god. Yeah. Why is there fucking three, dog? That makes no Yo, sense. Yo, for sure, there's a reason. I would have to ask my dad. My dad would definitely. Is know. it regional? Oh, for sure, there's a reason. It could it might be regional. regional. Yeah. Let's look like at the official. Noon versus noon. It might, it might have to do with pace. Maybe door not is quick. Door okay, is. Okay, I run. typed in. I typed in run, in English in Punjabi English translator, and it said the Punjabi translation is run. <laughs> <laughs> Running one. is. What the no, hell? That just means going. It works. Walking. That means running as in the, the, you know, it works, right? Yeah, it works. Yeah. Or means walking as well. I don't say the hai Chal- after. The hai fucks me up. Chalreya hai. Chalreya. Sorry. We said chalda. Chalda. Jogging is. Uh, jogging. These motherfuckers confuse uh, uh, Hindi and Punjabi. Um, Jaldi. wait, what Jaldi. do you say for, um, uh, what's the, what, what do you say for, like, do you say Thwadi with a W? No, oh, we Thwadi. say Thwadi. Yeah. Thwadi. 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 It's like T-U. I say with Thwadi. like a W, Thwadi. 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 Yeah, I say Thwadi. 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 You don't say you. So you Kishan... don't use the w. I use the, I say Thwadi or Thwadi. Thwadi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what yeah. does that mean? Sami, what are you? What, are you from the backwards? Well, I'm from, from, my mom's from your guys' side and my dad's from yeah. Amritsar. So, oh, okay. So um, that's a... But I get, mine's get mixed up, right? Because I grew up in two different dialects or both you guys grew up in the same dialect. Yeah. Because your mom and Hold dad on. are both the Wabas. My dad's here. Let me just ask him, who is it? Pudge versus Nut versus... Door. Door. <laughs> Papa, when somebody's running. <laughs> Papa. And, and uh, it's... Pajke or Dorke or Natke. What's the difference between or you? Or Fatafatke. <laughs> oh, within the context matters? Oh. Otherwise, it's the same. Okay. So I guess it just matters what sentence is around it and you use whatever. I don't know how that works either. Is there like. Yeah, I agree. No, I agree. I agree with what he's saying. Because yeah. Pajke. Yeah. You just, my dad's like, Jacob, Dorke, Jana, then you say, Fir, Pachke, ka. Okay, like yeah. quickly, quickly. Huh. It's like run quickly. Like if you're going to go jogging, <laughs> okay. Main do, main no one's going to go jogging. In Hindi, it came up as Dorden. Oh, okay. So, like in the field of battle, if somebody ran away, they would say, Oh, Pachke. Like low bitch. Oh, yeah. That's true. Minor Very difference. minor difference, but the, there's oh. contextual differences. So bitches, bitches, pudge, pudgy bitches, pudgy bitches. It's very different. It's very difficult to teach this to somebody. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. My dad's like, this is Punjabi's beauty. There's, there's so much specificity. Influence in the Urdu too, right? It just mm-hmm. sort of sometimes mixes things. Yeah. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yep. Well, so thanks for we listening to uh, this podcast. Great <laughs> episode. Great episode. Next week in... It was a, uh, it was a, it was a, it was a not gear episode really quick. <laughs> it, was, it was next week up Punjabi Thor- Thesaurus number two, to sec- episode two. Uh, what's uh, You know, there was one other one I was I came across. Um, you said no, fata fata already. Fata fata is just... Ra- like, is that a word or is that slang? Is that like... That's just slang. That's slang. Yeah, there's yeah. actually a, um, a uh, you guys know what hajmula is? Yeah. Yeah. There's a hajmula type of candy in India that's a little sweeter, but also for digestion. It's called fart. Yeah. What? And I think that's, that's the reason, right? To get rid of the bloating yeah. and the nastiness to say really quickly, fart. I had a cousin yeah. that worked in a hajmula factory. And then when he found out we were eating them, he's like, no, don't ever eat these. They're disgusting. He goes, when it comes in, it's like bugs, everything is an all in the spice mix. And they just blend it all together. And he goes, don't ever eat how's that. Work. But how's that any different from Starbucks? Because Starbucks use, they use bugs to create that red dye. Well, they used to at least. The red dye, yeah. The, it's thing not, about the, yeah. Well, the red dye is like a beetle or something, right? A crushed up yeah, beetle. Some, bugs are really good like apparently that. for uh, protein. Great source. Great are they? 
crickets yeah. and but shit. They sell humans crickets. get humans get enough protein in general, don't they? Like, yeah, don't we all we have don't way more because, protein than we need? Because people don't eat uh, enough vegetables. Hmm. Yeah, but I guess crickets are just uh, probably a safer source, right? Not safe well, for like environmentally just... more friendly. Oh, are they how, much they probably t- how much would they probably take up crickets? Oh, crickets? Yeah. Um, I still think it's not. I don't think. I think anytime you don't eat what the animal eats, you're losing. It's an energy loss, right? You're you're always if you're always eating the middleman, you're never getting as you're, you're, you're what you're eating is never as nutritionally dense. So, um, because in the, the day for the cricket to get that big, he had to eat a lot more food. Right, so you'd have to eat a lot more crickets than eating fucking some grains and lettuce and shit. Or not lettuce, lettuce is useless. But um, yeah, like if you just go straight to the source, people have to realize it's a better way to live. How many? Yo, I remember reading these stats about how many animals or how many bugs are actually in the world. It's actually wild to think about. Like, there's more. For instance, I just looked this up. How many ants do you think are in the world? Over trillions. It's probably not even. If it's not even a real number. Them. You can't count them. Do you know what it is? What uh, one? It says one million billion ants. Well, dude, there's more chickens. There's so much more chickens in the world than humans. Well, they kill like three hundred million chicks and chickens a day or something yeah. like that. They kill. Dude, there's so many chickens. Yo, no, no. There's less chickens. Twenty-five point nine billion. <laughs> no, I'm saying there's so more than humans. Well, there's more than humans, yeah. but like. Dude, that's, that's a lot of chickens fuck. per human. That's because of there's eggs. What, 7 billion the egg people? industry. There's yeah, seven there's billion people. Five chickens, five chickens a person, yeah. Well, three and a half, but still, it's crazy. Yeah, it's and actually crazy. And if you just ate what the chicken ate, you would need maybe a million chickens. I think a chicken yeah, but then, like but then, if you don't eat the chickens, there's going to be 52 billion chickens. There's going to be a chicken population problem. No, no, they'll You're not really like die chicken, off because they're bred have a only. Chicken government. And, they're all, <laughs> okay, so if they're, so if they're gonna, so if they're gonna die anyways, why why can't these guys kill them and eat them? No, no, you let them die of natural causes, but not uh. stop breeding them for factory farming, <laughs> right? So some things like they only some animals literally only exist for human consumption. Okay, but some of these chickens just can't afford homes; they have to live in those cages. So yeah. what are they gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, when you go like traveling around, you see chickens walking around everywhere, like even Hawaii and shit. I'm like, that's pretty cool. That's real free range mm. suburban chicken. There's turkeys in Brampton. Like, so yeah, so many turkeys turkeys in, in the morning to pull up to my house all the time. Yeah. Are they wild, hostile? Wild turkeys. Yeah, they're wild. You're not supposed to fuck with them. You're not supposed to eat them. Their meat is harder. I've had That's... wild chicken before. Wild chicken's meat is much tougher. I, I, oh. I saw some video where there's a wild, one of these turkeys chasing a dude on a, a bike. And just in, like, uh, here at Brampton. Was, I think it was here. I don't know. It was like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was like a motorcycle, not a motorcycle, or a scooter or some shit. Oh, very ugly yes. animal. It is. Yo, I think, but very like in between the uh, dinosaur. You can see like, okay, I could see it a bit. The dinosaur. Yo, crocodiles. These wild the crocodiles are fucked. They're, yeah, they're fucking the serious. Yeah, those are actual like, dude, they're predators, man. Crocodiles, fucking alligators. They're hard. They're hard, a bunch of Harvey Weinstein's. <laughs> Uh, yo, um, what do like turkeys and th- like they eat just other little critters and stuff, right? Yeah. No, yeah. they eat like corn and uh, soy and most animals eat soy. Where the fuck do they oh, get they... soy from? That's what the world's most of the soy and corn in, in the world is grown for is animal feed. No, no I'm talking about these wild motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. sorry. I mean, maybe they eat some insects. I don't know. I think they just eat anything. Like these, these wild ones aren't having like beyond meat. They're having something. Seen, like good. like bird food is just like seeds and shit, right? I had Beyond Meat sausage, the one that not the A and W one, but the not the breakfast sausage, the regular sausage. Fuck, it was disgusting. The wienerish one. Uh, yeah. Oh yo, my god. I've lost my taste for Beyond Meat. I don't think it's good. I think it's way too salty. I had uh, the other day. I had the KFC Light Life burger. How was that? Uh, is KFC's Light Life. Actually, no, Harvey's is Light Life. Or the KFC also has Light Life apparently. And uh, like it's like actually meat. crispy. It's actually crispy. It's like this. Yeah. It looks it like. A... Yeah, Ash Paul says it's dead. I on. thought it was all right. I thought it was pretty good. I, I don't know the difference, but like. But this I is what was I was right. saying. Like when I had it and he's saying it's dead on, I'm like, well, I don't get the fucking obsession, right? Because it doesn't seem like it's like that's something that I could, that's so irresistible to, that I need it. 
right? Yo, yeah. there's something about that crispiness that makes it taste really, really good. But you're it's right. Really, it's... these kind of things are less for vegetarians and more for people who want to, like, people like yeah, me yeah. who want to have less meat in their diet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they just, um, yeah, but it's just as unhealthy. That's the thing. That's the problem. It'll be interesting. Well, the to thing see is, that's where black bean burgers and yeah. um, sweet a potato bi- burgers. Studies show a Beyond Burger is healthier than a regular meat burger, like by far. But but there's still a bunch of shit in it. But you're comparing yeah, like fucking kids. injecting like bleach to injecting dishwashing liquid. <laughs> so, yeah. Yo, exactly. And, it's it's actually it's not hard to make a good veggie burger. Like it's not hard. You yeah, just a have tiki, to man. like a fucking straight together a bunch of. I think it's oh, hard. To, other really hard to yeah. do for uh, these fast food restaurants. Yeah, for sure. But they they could get them pre-made, yeah. right? Like like the vegetable ones, they use chickpeas. They use chickpeas to kind of stick them together. But, but if you look and at how complicated the process of procuring and the meat is, it's absolutely insane. There's like a logistical, there's just so many fucking things they've done to prop it up, right? It's like keeping yeah. a guy from the miners up to on the bench just, just in case or some shit. Like, you know, it doesn't really belong in the food system because of how unhealthy it is and how resource extensive it is. But it's all propped up just for fucking selfishness. It's fucking weird to me. And so if they did the same thing, towards like vegetables and groceries and, and produce in general and subsidize it the same way and propped it up. They could fucking make anything just like that. They could make anything. And there, there's so many examples of how well, they've they, done it with they, corn, right? What is the, they propped up corn. Corn's like, yeah, terrible. but corn they propped up because they feed it to the cows. Right. Yeah. But they use yeah. it in other shit too. Now, like fucking plastic. Oh, glu- uh, glucose. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. They are doing some cool shit with like, uh, like Hermes just did, partnered up with a company that does, leather made out of uh, mushrooms and apparently the quality is incredible so it's like the problem with the problem is it's going to be to prop up uh, vegetables in that respect it's taste right that's the problem like um it's when it comes to dessert i think uh, vegetarianism of uh, vegetarian vegetarian alternatives are more than sufficient right yeah um like baked goods like i can't tell the difference um but when it comes to burgers, like a good veggie burger, uh, actually a good veggie pizza is actually, you don't really need meat. Veggie pizzas are actually really tasty. Yeah. A lot but, of meat uh, eaters I know prefer veggie pizzas. Yeah, my mom. And people also prefer veggie subs. A lot of people prefer veggie subs. Yeah, that's um, interesting. Yeah, I think it's because it maybe mimics sort of a pizza in a way. Um, but uh, um, when it comes to burgers and sandwiches, there's a, there's a huge difference, like a fried chicken sandwich. Yeah. There's just nothing that I've come across that can replicate that. You'll know, so be interesting if that, you're ever in London, if you go to that uh, Temple of Satan, go on their Instagram and it's... Well, the problem is I get I, I have fucking an allergy to Satan. That's the problem. Oh, that's, yeah. That's soy, right? Yeah, that's Satan my problem. Satan is a soy... Yeah, I think it is soy tin. Uh, but most people don't have allergies to soy, so it shouldn't yeah. make a difference. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, no, it's not soy. It's gluten flour. Gluten flour. Well, I, I get boils when I eat too much gluten. Okay, That's the yeah. problem. No, but the thing is, the thing with the like when you go to Zen Gardens, their chicken nuggets taste better than chicken nuggets. Like it's incredible. Like Zen Gardens mm-hmm. is one of the best vegetarian restaurants in the GTA. Like people should go there more often. They're fucking oh, yeah. amazing. This um, is what they use in like all those countries, Southeast Asia, is they would just use gluten flour. But for some reason, Zen Gardens is just it's just amazing. Man. It's Even made at sushi, uh, they they got a factory on Brunel where they make all their meat. Oh wow! Even the sushi, mm. it's veggie. It's like mango and shit. It's so yeah. fucking good. And yeah. also, like that's, that's another thing with fish. Uh, I've yet to come across anything that has replicated because fish is such a. Uh, like today, I was looking at salmon in my. The only meat that I actually look at, I'm like, oh, this is beautiful, is salmon. And I've, I, I don't think even vegan places have tried replicating that yet. Have they, they have not. I haven't seen it here. But when I was in Bali, I went to this one restaurant that did like all, all vegan and all like. Uh, not raw or whole food, plant based, so no oil. They had made. I ordered this Norwegian club sandwich or something, and I guess it's it's got like a smoked salmon in it. But they hated this. They did the salmon with the papaya, so it was like shilled and it looked like fish. I had it. I never had. I had never tasted anything like this before. It tasted really good. And then my friend, she's from South Africa that I was with, and she eats meat and everything. And she was like, "Yo, this is like dead on." She goes, "This is fucking wild." Oh wow! Yeah, this so fish is so hard when it comes to um, texture. It's a yeah. slimy. Well, they like do. Sushi. It's my favorite thing in the world. They they do. They I, I the thing is this papaya thing. I haven't even found a recipe on YouTube. I've seen a lot of them doing smoked salmon with carrot. Like they'll slice a carrot and then oh. they 
put it in like soy sauce overnight. And then they do like, they, they do a whole bunch of shit to it. Right. Like you have to prep it a lot and literally they use it in place of salmon. And then there's a lot of those really recipes on YouTube. Yeah. And the, so well, but in this, Japan, I was, like, you know, beef is really expensive in Japan. And the reason is it's, um, there's not a lot of cows there and the cows that are there are treated really well. So to buy steak, it's like fucking $200 sometimes, $150. And that that kind of situation could f- help fix the environmental problem. Because think, when you it's so expensive. Yeah, because that's the thing. If you stop subsidizing it and you subsidize just, subsidize, uh, subsidize just like vegetables, vegetables and groceries yeah. and that shit, just swap it. Like, you know, like you, it, it, it'll be so beneficial, man. You're, the amount of fucking savings on the healthcare system alone would be unreal if, if people mm-hmm. just... Kale to be subsidized. Like the fact that kale is so expensive is kind of fucking crazy. Kale, it's a fucking yeah. leaf, dude. You gotta you gotta grow your own. That's the best way to go. Uh just buy some and grow it. <laughs> like yeah, we we've got like a little kind of makeshift garden in the backyard. But that's and still tough you, for like a lot of people though. Like I don't know how the fuck to grow yeah. it. No, I mean, no. I, I no, it's not know. it's not so difficult. Like Harleen, for instance, uh last last spring and then well, approaching spring, I mean, even this year. Just gets like seeds and then she takes these little plastic cups and puts them by the window and puts like mitti and seeds in them and does has this whole process and we end up with like so many cool things so it's it's definitely doable and it's it's easier than you think like yeah you could just watch a youtube video and do it it's a commitment obviously it'll like, be one of those things of that it, but... like there's still like this weird stigma about going vegan and plant-based for some ridiculous reason still but i think it mm-hmm. obviously it's wearing off as time goes on and then I, there could be a reversal like say by 2030 where where we can science the fuck out of our problems by just i think with the lab grown meat lab grown dairy that solves a shit lot of problems right because you yeah. get you're going to be able to make stuff that is completely clean right and antibiotic free and 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 all the crap that they're using right now in the food our community drinks so much milk well in my house we haven't drank milk in years yeah Mm -hmm. Um, we just drink almond milk but our community is is fucking infatuated with milk well that's what you look at it like we're the one of the least healthiest communities we have the highest rates of heart disease i think in the world i think next to black people because black people live in a lot of food deserts and they're just what they're taught about the what the black sort of soul food diet is, is not really the traditional. Well, it's cheaper food, food when they, because they the, uh, when they were slaves, yeah. they only got like the left like uh, what are they called the pig? I forgot what the thing chicklets. I forgot what they're called. So they had to settle with that, and it became part of their diet. They made it a part of their culture, like this. this when really fucking, African food is fucking amazing, but it's terrible for you. Which one? It's a, so it's amazing tasting, but it's terrible for you. But like, like cheese and cornbread is like the best thing in the world. That's the crazy mm. thing, right? Like that food is good, but when I was like, I fucking think, how do you beat an acai bowl? That shit is fucking incredible. Yo, mac and cheese beats an acai bowl. Oh, I don't know, bro. Like I'm like the amount of flavor, or even like a nice, like cornbread, a nice channa masal, channa and roti and puri, right? Like, I, what, what? I can't. I don't think anything beats those flavors. You know, they're very, I'm a fan of Janda Masala, but I'd rather have a mac and cheese. I just think, you know, I don't know what it is. I, I Black food or Southern food, there's this, because um, they cook it for such a long time. I don't it's know so if fatty. Good. It's also the amount of fat. The more fat something has, the more. Ribs, fat. Yeah. Don't fat. they deep fry a lot too? Like, what are grits? Aren't grits like? I don't, I've never had grits. Fried. I think grits are uh, like uh, oats, oatmeal type of situation. Oh, I'm trying to look up uh, recipes for savory dalia and shit, but I found some cool. Yeah, shit. that's grits, pretty much. I think. Is it? I think so. I, I've never had it, but like, um, you know, that's a cornerstone. Fried chicken is a big thing in the black community. Um, but fried chicken's a big. Fried food's a big thing in ours, like pokore. Um, but the thing is, we oh, yeah. if you fry them with chickpea flour, it's much healthier. Mm. Frying is never fucking really healthy, though. No, but you, you use avocado oil, chickpea flour. It's better than fucking. Uh, anything better than anything better than palm oil and white flour and that shit, but yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's just garbage. Yeah, yeah but that's probably but what there's all the no, but there's yeah, no they, evidence they, that 
like we constantly think our elders like oh, kai da changaya, changaya. yet there's no evidence that anything that we're told to eat by our parents and all the, our grandparents is healthy because none of them are fucking healthy but the thing yeah, is back really, in the day when they were younger they fucking worked on the field so no matter how much shit they ate they just worked it off yeah you burn it right off it'd be like uh what's his name translate. phelps michael phelps yeah it doesn't like, translate to this lifestyle my friends no <laughs> <laughs> our, our sedentary lifestyle where we're sitting at a desk Dude, fucking eating fucking two day. rotis or three rotis for three meals a day, so nine rotis a day, that's fucking in- in- it's crazy, insane. dude. Yeah, but a roti is not insane. bad for yourself, though. No, it's not bad, but it's just a lot of caloric con- content. If you're not moving around, yeah. uh, Actually, I don't know how many 150 cal- calories, 150 calories of roti, right? So let's you doing three a meal, yeah. 450, 450, 900, and then you already have 1350, you have some sub G. You're gonna have a, a dot the glass with it. Like this was back in the day, how they ate. And yeah. makkana and ta makkana pana. <laughs> I'm not saying that the fucking ten cups of chad that they have in India. Yo, I can't wait for them to make a vegan makkana. But the thing is, they burnt it off back in the day. Like it was really easy for them in the yeah. heat or working in the heat. Uh, it just didn't translate um, to here. My parents, my parents have found better ways to make roti. Like my uh, my mom love- now. Yeah, my mom now, like for Atta, she uses a couple of different kinds of, like Bajra flour. Yeah, it's, I, don't know if you know I actually find it that. tastes. Yeah, it like tastes. Seven, eight, multi grain. Like it's everything. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it's an acquired taste, and the consistency of the roti is a little different, but you get used to it. I like it. it. Well, that's yeah, the thing, right? A lot of things yeah. are an acquired taste, but then eventually it becomes your normal. Like we only used it's, to buy white bread. Yeah, yeah it's normal for me now. And then we hated like, dude, brown it, at the beginning. White if system. I have white bread, anything, I have trouble digesting it. I just dude, brown it. bread, the one that has lots of nuts in it, the twelve grain. Yeah, those are so grain. tasty. They're so good. I can have them by on their own. Yeah, but yo, you gotta buy fresh. You gotta buy the fresh bread, eh? Don't buy yeah. the packaged ones. But and, and like, it's not like saying, yo, don't fucking ever have white bread. Everyone should treat themselves. But um, you know, it's, but is it really a treat? Like even like really treat, white, yeah. white rice is so bad. Not bad for you, but it's like not as good for you as. Well, you know, some foods like you know, like with white rice, like brown rice just doesn't do it. Like if you're having sushi, brown rice sushi tastes like toto, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But sushi or, is also like a. You're getting a lot of vegetables and other stuff with it too. If you're yeah, eating. yeah, seaweed's really good for you. Yeah, but no, if you're gonna, I'm saying if you're gonna treat yourself once in a while, like yeah. I like most sub you know, If you have brown chola, it doesn't really make a difference to be honest. Yeah. Yo, I, 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 I had so much brown rice, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I found it heartier. I found it like more like. Food. But like a pronta, it's a little harder. You want a pronta once in a while? It's harder to cook. Um, it you know, but you but body for pronta, it's a wrap. But dude. A pronta is a pronta. Yo, but a Yo. pronta again is only unhealthy when they butter the fuck out of it. Like a yeah. alu a la pronta, because we have this tip, this this um stigma that carbs and starch is bad, but it's not. It's you could you could have. But could, that's also if you work it off. If you're not working off carbs, that it is bad for you. If you live a sanitary lifestyle, that is it's literally energy, right? If you're if you're eating energy and not working it off, the energy is going to turn into fat. Um, but like fats, but the thing is, but the, but the fat is going to be more fat. Most fat is fat. No, like, that's no, that's true as well. But the thing is, if I'm sitting at home, like today, I barely w- walked, and I've thin pronte. That's you know, I'm not doing my body a service because my body's like you're not even exerting the energy that you're giving me. But most most of everything I've read is that that starches don't turn to fat; they just no. I'm talking about carbs. I'm talking about carbs. Oh, okay, well, starch is a carb, but it's the good carb. No, yeah, I'm talking. Yeah, yeah. There's difference. Like complex carbs, like quinoa, is much better yeah. than. Like a lot of it, you can eat as much of it you want. Quinoa tastes really good too. Like I actually really like enjoy quinoa. There's I another want... one too. There's a millet. Is it called? There's a millet, but there's this other one that's supposed to be on the come up. Fuck, it's uh, I think it's from Turkey. It's a type of yeah, the couscous. There's couscous as well, but that that's nice as well, but not that one. Uh, fuck, man, I'm not gonna remember what it like is. Like good carbs are like dal is such a great carb. Incredible. Dal Incredible. is the best carb in the world. Or um, rajma. Raj, or rajma is what? Is a black bean or what is it? Kidney, Raj, bean. Uh, kidney bean. Kidney bean. But it's a complex carbs. Yeah. Um, black beans, lentils. Um, rajma is one of my favorite. Dude, even like, like fucking some steamed vegetables bean. with a little bit of lemon and salt is fucking so good with some. I like some vegetables. I like, uh, like broc- I love broccoli. I love oh, like. Oh, you can't. I like zucchini and I like. I don't mind eggplant. 
Ooh, I can't like I don't like any of those. The texture I can't. Yo, have you guys? You guys gotta have Partha, man. Partha is amazing. I love Partha. It's amazing. Yeah, Eggplant Partha is like ten out of ten. I, I like. I like, like, uh, I like the smell. You know, I like shalgum, oh. dude. I love shalgum. Sabji. Another one I can't do. I just uh, shalgum's is really good. Really, what really good. Uh, shalgum is what turnip? Yeah. No. Is it? I yeah, thought shalgum sure. was like squash. Oh no, it could be. No, no, squash, squash is kaddu. Yeah, 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 that's right. But then there's so many it's... different kind of squashes, but we just call them uncle. Like, I, like a butternut squash is fucking heavenly as fuck. Tasty. Butternut mm-hmm. squash fries. I had uh, have you had a taro? Taro is like a root vegetable. Really tasty. Oh, and yeah. I had taro fries, and that's it's like one of those things. Potato, like the texture. Yeah, different taste. Actually, no, you know where they had it at um, La La Bella Managua. Yeah, yeah, they have taro there. Yeah, they had taro. The that southern was... people eat. Um, they eat. Okay. They eat weird stuff too. They eat uh, stomach, uh, like stripe, which is like the stomach lining. Yeah, it's like white and like. Yeah, like animals. And I you tried know, it. I actually really liked it, but it's just really fatty. Gushan, I think we saw uh, that at that market in Barcelona. Was just so tasty. Did we? Remember, like, we went to that, that market and there was like this if you walk by the meat section. It's only them. I've never seen any other community eat it, to be honest. No, but they sell it in Spain, like in the. Oh, that's what I'm the, saying. Like Latin, Latin people. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, my uh, bad. I thought yeah, for some reason. But like plantain's amazing. It's one of my favorite things in the world. I love plantain. Yeah, that's so good. Especially mm. when it's fucking soaked in sugar. Oh my god. You, well, you know what it is? It's the sugar almost comes from itself. No, but you know when they glaze it. Yeah, but the glaze is almost the 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 glaze oh, is from okay. itself. Oh, okay. It's so tasty. The banana, the banana, because it's a right. It's the more ripe it is, the more sugar's in it. So because oh, Cassandra so made a. Uh, like fried, I guess I don't. It's not plantain. Like, is plantain before like the a version of the banana? I don't know, but I've had it with ice cream. It's fucking incredible. Well, well, like she made it one time for me, and it was just like literally took a banana that was ripe and put it on like riper on a fucking frying pan, a little bit of tail, I think she did, and then literally it was all glazed by itself, and it was so sweet. It's so good, man. Plantain with like that's the best part of West Indian food for me. You know, plantain refers to a type of banana with a very different flavor profile and culinary application than the sweet yellow banana. Also heavier than a banana, I think, in terms of calories. More denser. Is I it? think a banana is around 150, 200 calories, one whole banana. Banana is probably number number one. Number one, my, me too. The most yeah, versatile fruit on the planet. I also like eating oranges. I feel like for some, like oranges when you I like eat like Yeah, anything, anything oh, with man. peel. Clementines, clementines are great. Oh, clementines oh. are incredible. I like peach a lot. Like five of them. Yeah. Peach, plum. I like most fruits except for kiwi. I think kiwi's fuck. I hate citrus fruit and stuff. Other than orange. Kiwi's good. I used to like kiwi a lot, but I think it's too salty, soury. I, mean, I don't like a raspberry. I'm not, salty, sir. I'm not a fan of the berry family. Also, strawberries. Blueberries are, blueberries blueberries are amazing. On the planet. Yeah, most yeah. Which one is? Yeah, strawberry. If you, yo, the thing about strawberries is if you get a sweet strawberry, it's the best. It's but the how often best. do you come across a really but, sweet Yeah, it's like. It's like one out of every edible strawberry. edible arrangements, yo. I don't know what they do. I think they grow their fucking blueberries are the my favorite berry. They're fucking blueberries are great. Yeah, of the berries, yeah, they're the best. But With pecans, blueberries, and pecans, my god. Berries so are powerful. I like pineapple. I like pineapple. Pineapple's amazing. Pineapple's amazing. But uh, I think a mango might be the best thing in the world, right? Like a good mango. Mango, mango, mango is probably the only fruit that could also just be a dessert on its own. Well, like that's what I'm saying. And mango probably not even good, good for you. <laughs> my mango yeah. might be the only fruit where if you see cake or donut, you go mango. Yeah. Like, yeah. it might be the only Without fruit. Like, those yeah. ones we have in Thailand with the rice. Yeah. Oh, my God. That, like, what else is on that level? There's nothing. There's fucking it's nothing. It's the nothing. best in the world. Fuck, dude, I'm jonesing to go on a fucking vacation, bro. Yeah, same. We have to, we so have to go somewhere as soon as I think. I think, um, yo, I think this is... Uh, well, fuck. Apparently, uh, I was talking to my buddy in Hamilton because I wanted to go see meet him. But apparently, he's like, there's another. They might go back into lockdown. Yo, here's the issue. They're fucking stupid. So the numbers are wild right now. They're actually like going up. And our case, you could tell by our daily case counts that they're like our trend is not good. Yet at the same time, they're fully like they're gonna start opening places. Dude, downtown they've was already high. started. I saw videos of people outside downtown. I just drove through Streetsville like a couple hours ago and there's people everywhere. There's people lined up outside for like ice yeah. cream and stuff, but they're not wearing masks. They're well, outside anything. there's transmission is like almost nothing. So. It's less, but but even then, man, it, like it's, it's like, okay, if you're putting all these people together, the chances of something happening are much higher, especially with the new variants 
being this much or that much more contagious, right? And you, this is how I see it. We're, we have the vaccine. We're fucking like, we're right there. They need to tell people that, yo, just chill for another month or two months and just... You but the fine. government lost their people's confidence. Doug Ford fucked things up. Doug Ford's terrible. He's fucking yeah. terrible. There's no excuse for he this. Lost, he like, lost. They, he's not... There's no logic behind this. Even the doctors say this is a bad idea. Like, there's no... Like, I, I understand, like, small businesses or businesses having trouble, but that this is a situation where you need to help those businesses get through this because... You can't have it both ways. You can't have the economy partly running this way and eradicate uh, COVID. It's it's one or the other. Like if you're doing this half ash approach, you're gonna get nothing. You have to go also, all in. We gotta fucking sanction China. Like we gotta send China a fucking. Uh, first things first, let's get <laughs> our vaccines, and then we'll go from there. And this I think be- what's good news with the vaccines is all of them, hundred percent on uh survival no one's died on yeah that's taken the vaccine yeah uh, and it my, was interesting my, my uh, getting hers. remember the whole Sorry thing about, about. Eff- uh, efficacy and like the, did you watch that vox video vox did a really good video comparing the vaccines and why some seem like they're better than the other but yeah. the thing is the results were under so many different circumstances whereas like um is it astrazeneca's is later the, the later ones or johnson and johnson them they Johnson Johnson. They, they did their testing during like peak COVID period, so there was obviously way more people getting COVID during that time. Whereas when Moderna and Pfizer doing their testing, they were still like on the come up, so the general population didn't have COVID as much as either. So they yeah. like you can't you can't because none of the vaccines were tested under the exact same conditions and and so on. You can't actually compare them, but all you can it's really hard to that makes sense. Dude, yeah. You know how they're giving out CERB checks? I would have spent like a trillion dollars on vaccine on vac- on vaccinations. Overpay. Have like one center every two kilometers. Like g- spend an inordinate amount of money in the first two weeks just to fucking buy as many vaccines as possible and like make sure everyone got vaccinated instead of doing this Mickey Mouse shit where we only have 500,000 vaccinations on period, which is fucking crazy. We're a first world country. Yo, the, the, the issue... Okay, so I... I, I, I don't know if Canada, like, I don't know if the federal government is fully to blame for the lack of vaccine. Uh, I think there are extenuating circumstances. Like, the Trump thing was a real threat where this guy is a fucking wild card. You don't know what the fuck he's going to do. Um, so you have to order from Europe. And now when you order from Europe, they're just hoarding vaccines. Like, they're not, they weren't distributing them fast enough, even though they had enough for mm-hmm. what their purposes were. So it's it's not it's not totally Trudeau's fault, and part of the reason, like the manufacturing, the Canadian manufacturing for vaccines, I'm pretty sure that was nixed, or a lot of that was nixed by conservative governments. So it's like okay, so well, we can't blaming, manufacture I'm not, here. I'm not blaming JT. Yeah. I'm just saying we should spend a lot of money on this kind of shit. I feel like we shouldn't just yeah, I agree. Wait, I, agree. I think this will be one of those things. I agree. Back in hindsight, it'll be so glaringly obvious where all the mistakes were made. Yeah, yeah. And hopefully they learn from it. Um, but you know, people lost. Know. I mean, years off of people, a whole year off of people's lives, and people who are like going through shit. Holy fuck, dude! Yeah, that's not a, dude, like it's, one it's, year. Yeah, um, no, eighteen year old, seventeen year old were just you know, uh, people in school, med school, fucking any school, missing out on that, those interactions, learning in person. Like it's gonna fuck up a whole whole generation. Kids are gonna have. Anxiety. Three-year-olds are going to have anxiety. They've never seen so many people before. Oh, when they go into... Yeah, I, I do wonder because I feel like at the same time, when I see my nieces and how computer savvy they've gotten, like there's got to be a benefit of that. The fact that they can navigate a computer and do all this shit. I think that's preparing them uh, for the sure. new world. But these newborns though, like because my cousins have newborns, when they see too many people, they freak the fuck out. It's actually pretty... It's pretty sad. That's interesting. Does that mean like they're not even seeing enough family? I nope. guess they can't. Yeah, yeah, I can only yeah, right. They can't. Yeah. yeah. Whereas, but I think kids yeah. are fucking pretty versatile. They can climatize. Kids are kids are pretty resilient. I think. Um, yeah. uh, it's harder, I think, for like you know, like the pre like preteen yeah. to teen. That yeah, kind I of, think if like you're already of, missed the boat at like by eight nine years old, you're pretty much that. That's what you are forever. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think, uh, I, guys, I, I'm I'm really sorry. I, I have to I have to leave because I have to drive. My battery's about to die. Um, okay. All right. Quick last question, or what do you want to do? 
Last question we can do yeah. is. Uh, um, well, I, I was I was gonna say. Well, sorry, I had one little thing. I was gonna add my like Rosie, my youngest niece. She's so funny because like she's kind of liking that she doesn't have to go to school because she doesn't. She says no one talks to her at school. Oh, <laughs> so she just sits in a corner. Wow. and has no friends. I'm like what? And then I had to be like, yo, you're just like me. I had no friends growing up. And then she goes, well, I have friends, but. Like, you know, they're, different. yeah, she's not that pathetic. Yeah, she's she? like, I'm not that. I go, oh, okay, so you're cooler than me. You're a little bit cooler than me. I go, okay, cool. Yeah, it sucks. That kind of shit breaks your heart when people, kids that you love are going to, are like, yo, you know, and she whispered it to yeah. me, man. She was like so shy, shy about it. She's like, I know when I'm alone during recess. I'm like, what? Cause I was trying to nickname her Recess Rosie. Cause she's always, every time she's in, supposedly in class at home, it's like, Oh no, I go back at three. I have break till one. I'm like, what are you on? Like recess all the freaking time. Like you're never sitting at your computer. And when you are, you're watching YouTube. Tell her to strike up friendships with like the teachers and the librarians, all the cool kids. That that. always works out well. Yeah, that works out (laughs) incredibly well. Yeah. Uh, Last question. Uh, What do you call it? What would you say was the toughest uh, grade for you and and why? And I'll I'll start for me, it's probably grade five. I had, uh, we went to London, Ontario for briefly. Uh, mm. and, uh, I was one of the few Brown kids there and I was, used to be called Taki mm. and the kids were really mean to me, man. And, uh, uh, I was, a, I was, oh, well, I still am, but I was a big boy. So I think grade five was probably my toughest time in my life. Shit, After that, in London, Ontario, you know, eh? Yeah. London, Ontario, Ryerson, same school as Eric Lindros. Um, but smooth sailing after that, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I was fortunate, but grade five was the toughest. That's interesting because I find for me, elementary school, I guess, cause you were new. I found elementary school was not as bad. Like, cause those kids had all pretty much grown up with you. So they were used to me, right? They didn't. So I had friends in elementary school, kind of, I thought until as you get older, then it's like, oh, you can't hang out with this guy. He's weird and a packy. <laughs> and then, then I felt it. So I would say like the first year of high school, second year of high school, I think third is when we moved. So the first three of high school, I would say were absolutely fucking garbage. For me, anyway, mm. I, I I couldn't even learn anymore. Which like, high school? Was this? this was in Chatham, called Chatham Kent mm. Secondary School. Yeah. And then, uh, but elementary school was cool. Um, but but yeah, but uh, high school was fucking trash. Gershon? Until I went to Woodlands, then it was the one year Woodlands. Then, then, then I met Raj. Then uh, I was like, I was accepted. Because <laughs> Raj accepts anyone. Um, <laughs> I would say, yo, I don't know, man. I don't think I had a really like tough, tough year, like personally like that. Um, I think most of my interactions at all the schools I went to were pretty good. Uh, if I had to say it was maybe the most, I don't know, maybe grade seven, I guess, because that was, it was weird. I went to Woodlands and Woodlands was grade seven to OAC, oh, wow. well, OAC at that time. Mm. So we're like basically children amongst like these 17, 18 year olds, you know? And so it was... Uh, it was kind of an interesting dynamic and um I, I would even then i wouldn't say it was difficult like it was just mm. just weird so life's been a breeze for this but guy it, shows it shows and <laughs> truly 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 a man of privilege and, uh, <laughs> i have no i apologize yeah he's a lot oh, of fan that. of the montreal canadian that's all we need to know yeah. we're going guys yeah. wednesday next one uh patreon patreon wednesday, wednesday. Yeah. everyone yeah. sign up for patreon we have 53 signups uh you get yeah. to see rods uh, and you know, to be some people, that's just, you know, it's a, it's that's a something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. All right, everyone.